Today is a good day to get ready. Gas, food, and all types of material shortages, possible limits maybe, are on the way. We just don't know. Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today I just wanted to bring a quick video to you why today is a good day to get ready. We've already seen what has happened with these cyber attacks that took place last week and how it's crippled the flow of gas, diesel, jet fuel all along the eastern seaboard. And it's only a matter of time before all that stuff starts rippling down to the rest of us. Why should you be ready? These cyber attacks are just going to keep rolling around. This is a, the new war. This is the new way of other countries retaliating against us. Very hard to detect, very hard to stop. I'm sure that in the military and in the government and everything else, a lot of the analysts and everybody else, intelligence, Everybody that is involved in trying to control what is going on through the internet, coming into this country, going after the big businesses, going after our power grid, going after our gas supply, going after our food chain, it all ties together, folks. So today is a great day to get ready. Now, don't become a FOMO. Now, what is FOMO, you ask. That's fear of missing out. Okay? So, if you want to avoid that type of a situation, a FOMO, and you have a fear of you're going to be missing out on getting products, getting extra gasoline, getting supplies, getting gear, getting whatever that it is that you need to survive on a daily basis. Us as creators, we could sit here and give you lists all day long and everything else, but everybody's needs are different. Everybody's needs are on a different scale. Could be a higher scale, could be a lower scale. The key here is that you put together a plan. Now, why a plan? Plans are very, very important, people. This way here, you can keep track of what you have, what you need, who has the best deals, normally on some of these products that you're looking for, or that you stock up on quite a bit. Toilet paper, paper towels, food, canned goods, emergency supplies, ways to cook, battery banks, flashlights, batteries, you can make a list and put it in your planner on who you bought it from last time and who had the best deal. Just, just don't go right online and just pick one particular store and do your shopping. Make sure that you're shopping around because it's coming down to where every penny is going to count, folks. Every penny that you have is going to count. I would also suggest because I have a strange feeling we're going to see a lot more of these cyber attacks. And who's to say that they're not going to start trying to go after a lot of the big banks, Wall Street? Who says that they're not going to try to cripple us in that effect? You see, this whole gas shortage thing is the beginning. And it can affect everything from you getting gas in your car to the trucks getting the food and supplies to the stores to your UPS, FedEx, and post office delivering packages to you, even if you run out of gas. If there's not enough to go around and if the pipes run dry, what are all these companies going to do? It's going to be very interesting. And let's hope that they can get this back online quickly to avoid a catastrophic event of nobody having fuel for whatever they may need. And it's only the beginning, folks. I believe that they will be going after 
more infrastructure. I think this is the new World War III that is approaching us. Now, on a different note, I am not trying to fearmonger anybody, but if you read between the lines with what's going on, and you follow what's going on, and now I watch several different news stations. I do a lot of research on the computer on different websites, and I see what everybody is reporting. And you can see that there's a trend that is starting. If you go back and you look in history, and since the 1990s and to till now, everything has, as far as cyber attacks, has been increasing on a yearly basis. And it's costing some companies millions and billions of dollars. And it's going to start affecting us because this is the new normal, folks. This is where they're going to hit us. They're going to come after our infrastructure and they're going to do it through cyber attacks. One way that you can be prepared, as I did say in the very beginning, today is a good day to get ready. Start making your plans. Start seeing what you need. Now we're going to compound this with we're coming into hurricane season. You got to make sure that if you have to evacuate, if you live in a hurricane prone area, you want to make sure that you have at least extra gas to get you out of harm's way if these gas shortages are still going on. Because it's coming around the corner very soon. June 1st it begins. And in the last six years, well, we've had hurricanes that have formed early. What might that do? You're going to have thousands of people stranded on the roads because they have no gas. And how is the government or any state local agencies going to evacuate all these people that are stranded? And where are they going to put them? These are all things that you have to really ponder and think about, folks. So today is a good day to get ready because you don't want to have the fear of a FOMO and you don't want to fear that you're not going to be prepared. Now, I'm not trying to fear monger here, but I'm trying to make sure that you people are all aware, especially everyone in my community and anybody that even isn't in my community that may be watching this video. Because you see, here at Survival Preparedness for Beginners, we want to make sure that everyone is staying safe, staying prepped, staying ready for the unknown. Because nowadays, I think the unknown is what's really going to happen. And that's what we have to prepare for. Sad to say. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. So until then, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.